somebody was sharing this idea right, right here in my office with me pretty recently. He said to me, I, I'm paraphrasing, but basically he said, you know, living for God is really a pretty good and a, a pretty reasonable position to take because it works like this. If you live for God, and, and there really is no God, it's all just a big hoax and the universe is just going to burn out someday, he said, you didn't really lose you didn't lose in any big way by living for God. In fact, if you lived according to God's ways, you were basically kind and, and loving and, and gracious and, and you experienced peace and joy. And, and oh sure, if there really was no God, f fine, then you were just kidding yourself. But that's all right. Didn't really hurt anything. It was still a nice aspect of your life. And, and it, it tended to probably add, at the end of the day, probably more benefit than detriment. He went on and said, but now if you reject God, if you ignore him, you live as if there is no God, but there really is a God, he said, you're going to stand and face this God that you rejected someday, and <laughs> that's not going to go well for you. So he told me, either way, whether there is a God or not, it probably just makes sense to go ahead and live as if there is a God. I told him, you know what? What you just articulated, that idea you just articulated was, was basically described a long time ago, not the exact same words, but that basic idea by this brilliant mathematician and, and inventor and physicist and philosopher. His name is Blaise Pascal and he lived in the 1600s. And, and I told this fellow, I said, Pascal, said something very similar to what you described just now, only he put it like in the form of a bet. He said it's like we're making a big cosmic bet. So Pascal basically said, look, if you, it, you don't really lose in any significant way if you live for God and yet there isn't a God. On the other hand, you do lose in a very big way if you reject God and there is a God. And so, therefore, Pascal said, I'm going to wager, again, he put it in the form of a bet, he said, I'm going to wager that there is a God and live that way. So I told this fellow um, what you just described to me, again, not the exact same words, but that basic idea has really been around for a long, long, long time, and it's come to be known as Pascal's Wager. And he said, wow. I guess I'm pretty smart after all. And I said, yeah, I guess you are.